Alright, time to play and review Nether. Right off the bat, this game does look nice, it looks big, it's detailed. What the fuck is that thing? Story-wise, I don't know, maybe I haven't really been paying attention to the game, but I really don't know what's going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay away from that thing. But from just like walking down the street, I'm getting like this major Fallout vibe. Like, shit went down, and just everything's run by roaming gangs, and, you know, yeah, technically this, everything is run by roaming gangs in this world. This is a Memorpaga, but this game does, this game is basically like a Fallout game, but there's like some sort of magical element in this game I don't fully understand either. Like, those monsters, they're demons, and I don't know how they came here. And, like, obviously something went fucking down here. Look at everyone. Look at everything. Fucking buildings are collapsing, smoke everywhere. And, uh, these smoke pillars, I think they're safe zones. I don't, I don't know what that one is. Safe zones are little areas around the map that haven't been taken over by gangs. And really, other gangs are just other players and gangs. At the the game, people made the not enough keys to unlock. Damn it! The developers made you know little in-game gangs. They're kind of like guilds in the game. Huh? Usually, when I do these things, I'm dying left and right. There doesn't seem to be anything around. It's actually nice. Shit's not like running after me. I can I can take some time and just relax while I review this game. Wow. Zippity doo da zippity yay. The fuck is that thing? Where is it? Going up against that thing. Oh fuck! Get away from me. Yeah, you shouldn't mess with this. You couldn't handle it. This game controls re really easy. Doesn't take that long to just pick up and play. Standard controls for most games nowadays. <laughs> okay. Night is coming. Gotta heal. Also gotta drink water. This is playing like a Fallout game on survival mode, so... You gotta stay hydrated. Oh shit! Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, so when you die, you can choose another character. Kinda don't wanna choose another character though. Damn it! So the emphasis on surviving is really fucking heavy. There's all these things you can buy, like uh, for taunts, tea bag. Ain't that classy? Apparently, buy these with gold coins. You can choose from several different classes: the urban warriors and survivalists are free characters. The prepper, the soldier, the biker. No clothes. Hope. All these other characters you have to pay for. I don't really know if they do anything stat-wise, I just know they're different when you pay for them. I assume they're just, you know, different skinned. That I just assume they're different skinned characters you can choose from. Eh, but really nothing, none of them really pop out to me, so I just go with the Urban Warrior. And you can choose how you want to look. What color shirt from like three different choices. Oh, backpack straps, sorry. And of course, pants color. Because if those pants don't go with your shoes, then what's the point of even going on? And when you spawn into the world, they at least give you a knife, which is. it is nice. Oh yay, I kept my helmet! And just so you know, people don't act like dicks in the safe zones, you can't just go killing other players. This is, you know, Nether, not DayZ. There are missions for you to do. 
just most of them are like courier missions. Take this, go there. At least those are like the ones you start out with so you can get to know how to play the game. Alright, so here's your map. You know, just by what this kind of looks like, I'm assuming this is some sort of version of New York. And here are all the different little spots you need to go to. Like right now, I'm in a safe zone. Nether Surge. Oh, safe zone under attack. Oh, it kind of reminds me of uh, Defiance, how they have these little timer things. The fuck was that? Oh, in safe zones, you'll find these message boards. Yeah, if you want to craft weapons, you have to take it to the weaponsmith. These are like little, like the message board in Borderlands where you can see missions and shit. Oh, look, another player. Uh, let's see. I have to. Butter Knife Bandits, Sons of the Apocalypse, Knights of the Dead. I kinda like that. Alright, so let's see, which one to join? I kinda like the Knights of the Damned. Oh, the Butter Knife Bandits. They seem pretty, you know, badass. Ooh, Shadow Reapers. Either way, it's a $50 fee. I'll join them. I can always probably switch. You are now a member of the Knights of the Damned. Yay! Also, while you're in the safe zone, you can access the global market, see what there's to buy. Doesn't look like they got that much. Just this. Oh, that's my inventory. Gonna go adventure! And who the fuck are you? Adventure! So now there is a very... It's a... Well, hard to really say kind of like how I feel about this game. I like it, I want to play more of it, but I'm not really too addicted to it. Maybe it's more, if I get like more into the game, as I get more into the game, I'll just want to play more of the game. Oh, cool. Apparently I'm capturing some claimed land. Shit, can't see. Can't see. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, most of the time the nethers won't bother you. I think that's what they're called, nethers. Got to capture this pod for the KOTD. At least the knights don't seem to last long in this game. Not like fucking Rust where they seem to go on forever. Yo, I, I was listening to mostly pros and I'm just realizing I haven't really said that much of cons other than you lose all your equipment when you die. Let's see... Purchasing really seems out... Like, price wa prices for everything are really gouged up, but... You also get a good amount of money for killing shit. At least you start with a weapon, too. But... They could do, like... To... There's not that many enemies. At least add a few more of those, uh... One-hit killer dude... One-hit kill dudes I can just farm a few kills off of. And I know, I think mostly just because it's in the beta, most of the game seems empty. Oh yeah, this is, you know, my review of the game. Hope y'all liked it. Overall, I would rate this game a... 3 nuclear apocalypses out of 5. Although, it could change to a 4 if they do fix a lot of those things I had said. I'm Iron Man. I hope you enjoyed my super chill review. I'm reminded that you guys all rock and signing out. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching my review of Nether. I hope you liked it. Now, I want to tell y'all I'm giving away three copies of this game. Now, to be entered for the giveaway for this game, this video has to get a thousand views. So, try it and you had to post in the comments below. When this video reaches a thousand views, I'm gonna pick three people out of random to just, you know, get the game. I'll message them if they get it, if they get it, if not, I'll pick someone else. I uh, hope y'all like this video. Click that like button, click that share button, help get this to a thousand views. Click on, click to my right to see, you know, all of the rest of my reviews. 
and click on one of my other videos to see those. Click on me if you want to subscribe, and this is Airman, reminding that you guys will rock, and signing off. Peace. I'm gonna go defend Asgard for Valhalla! <gasps> ah shit, bees! It's Nicolas Cage! Take that Nicolas Cage! It's that's just, you know, gonna raise the bill if I leave running all day. Why so many bears? Like, give me a pig or a deer, something I can kill. Has to be something.